What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So I thought I haven't done a physique update or a measurement update in a pretty long time. Got a few requests, so I'm going to do an update, both physique update and I guess measurement update. I haven't actually personally measured myself in a while. The truth is my measurements probably really haven't changed much because as you can see in my weigh-in that you just saw before this, I'm only 168.2 pounds, which is about the same that I've been for a while. Haven't really been trying to get bigger, so I don't really think anything has changed, but for a lot of you new subscribers, you probably didn't even see my last one. So we're gonna measure arms and uh, whatever else I could do with uh, this thing. Um, this is what I will be using. It's basically just like a, it's just like a, instead of like a tape measure, it's for, this one is from Vitamin Shop. You can get them anywhere. You just pull out the thing, you wrap it around the body part, push the button, and it's just pretty simple. So let's start with my right arm. Um, they're usually smaller than they look. I'll wrap it around here. And uh, they're about 15 and a half. Well, the right one's 15 and a half inches. Left one's usually, I don't know, sometimes it's, it used to be small and now they're pretty even. So, uh, also 15 and a half inches. So that's pretty good. They evened out over time. Um, let's see, uh, waist. What is my waist? to go around the belly button. My waist is 29 and a half inches. I think that actually shrunk to be honest with you guys. Um, while we're here, let's do a quad. See, the thing is I'm pretty lean. I don't know my exact body fat percentage. I would guess it's around seven, maybe eight percent. So a lot of people think my arms are bigger than they are, but they're not even 16. But if they were, if I was even like 12% body fat, which is normal, they'd be like 16 and a half. So keep that in mind. Same with my quads. My quads, like people think they look like massive. Let me look at this. Like people think my quads look really big. And like in my opinion, they do look pretty big. I don't know if you can see them. Let me lower it again. Like my quads look pretty big to me like when I flex them. But like you'll see when I measure them, they're like no bigger than like a lot of uh, people's quads who seem to have skinny legs. So again, if I had some more fat on them, they would look worse, but they'd measure bigger. Like here we go, they're only... My right quad is only 22 and a half inches. So that is not very big, but look, I mean, no, the measurement's just the measurement because I mean, my quads look pretty, pretty big to me, so. It's not that bad. Uh, while we're down here, let's do calves. And my calves are a little, like 15 and a quarter, I guess you could say. So, I, don't know, I honestly don't even know what they're supposed to be. Um, I don't know what else to measure. Um, chest, how do you do chest? Just wrap it around your chest, I guess. So we'll start from the bottom. Bear with me. <laughs> the thing with chest though, it's like, is this really your chest or is this your back? Because if I had a big back, would my chest be bigger? I don't know, I don't know. You're probably all watching this. Oh my God, you're doing it so wrong. That's not how you do it. I'm sorry guys, but this is the best I can do. I'm trying to get around my nipples. about 40 inches, I want to say. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if I'm doing this right. So I think like 40 inches to me, that sounds kind of small, but again, my chest looks pretty big to me. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm just doing this wrong. I don't know if I'm just lean, so my measurements are smaller, but that's what everything measures. I think I've done everything. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm currently looking, about 168.2 pounds. I'm five foot nine, for those of you who've been wondering this whole time. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm currently looking like. And here's a little uh, flex. I guess I did say it was gonna be a physique update, so might as well uh, show a little physique. But uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, let's do legs. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. So this is my latest leg day. Here I'm just showing you where I put my feet on this hack squat machine. 
Uh, I like to put them relatively neutral, uh, not too wide, not too close, not too high, not too low. And I find that hits really the overall quad most effectively. Um, so if you saw my last video, that was a lower strength day. This is a lower hypertrophy day. So when you combine that workout plus this workout, you'll see all of the leg exercises that I do for an entire week. Uh, in that last video, I was talking about how people often see what I do on lower strength day and they're like, that's all you do for legs? How, you, how can your legs grow uh, with such few exercises? Um, but what I said then is what I'll say again now, that was just lower strength day. Uh, the goal of the lower strength workout isn't necessarily to add size on my legs. It's really geared towards strength because this workout that you're seeing here is higher in volume and this one is geared towards the size and I focus less on the weight. So here on, the hyper, uh, on this hack squat machine, I start out with four sets. I, I've been doing 10 reps. Sometimes I go a little higher, but I like 10 reps on this and I do a drop set at the end. I, I don't show the drop set, but believe me, I did a drop set. And another question is why am I not doing squats on this workout? Um, I did answer this in another video, but I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't see that one. So I will just briefly say it again here. Uh, the real reason is I just don't want to. <laughs> There's no, that's the simple reason. Um, squats would probably be a, a better exercise to do over the hack squat. Not much better, but a little bit better. Uh, it just comes down to the fact that to do squats requires a lot of warming up. Uh, more, more warming up like in terms of like mobility stuff. More warming up in terms of starting with the bar, starting with a 45. It takes a while to work up to my working sets. Whereas that hack squat machine, I'm pretty much ready to go after like five minutes. Um, and it really comes down to that. Um, if I was telling you which one to use for most, uh, for the most um, effect, I would recommend you squat instead. But like I said, I don't think the difference is too large. And I personally enjoy the hack squat machine on this workout and just only squat once a week on my strength day. Um, so afterwards, I do move on to the leg press. I do four sets of this as well. I'll typically do, depending on how I feel, I'll either do 12 reps or sometimes I'll go up to 15 reps. Um, I also do a drop set on this um, at the end. I don't show that either, but believe me, I do it. And again, um, I could have squatted first and then done the hack squat. I could have squatted and then done the leg press. Uh, I'm, I'm never going to tell anyone not to squat. I do think squats are the best overall uh, workout for your legs. So the more often you squat, the better. Like I said, I'm just at a point in my training where I'm just personally choosing to do the one that I enjoy the most over the other. And like I said, it's not that I'm not squatting at all. I did squat on my strength day, so I'm not being completely lazy just on this. Um, here we moved on to some calf raises in this weird bird's eye view. view. <laughs> um, on the calf raises, I do four sets of somewhere between 12 and 15. I believe I did 12 on this one, on this workout as well. Um, in between each of the calf raise sets, I do dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. You can call it a superset if you want. I really, I really just call it an alternating set just to save time rather than sit there after my calf raises. I just walk over and do these. Um, you can do this with dumbbells or barbell. I personally have been using the dumbbells lately and I just prefer them. It feels a little bit more comfortable. I always felt awkward kind of lowering the barbell. I felt like my knees got in the way and I just didn't feel like I was doing it right. Watching this, I don't feel like I'm doing these right either, but I always feel them in my hamstrings. Um, and I, I'm just personally preferring to use dumbbells lately. Um, just so you guys know, uh, I assume if you were watching this video and you follow me on YouTube, you probably found me through Instagram. And if you haven't found me through Instagram, you probably follow me on Instagram as well. But if you don't also follow me on Instagram, that is the better place to follow me because these workouts... Uh, I post like several days after I've, I do them, whereas I do make it an effort to actually film some of my workouts as I'm doing them at the gym. So if you actually wanted to see this workout like as it was happening, I would have put, you could have checked out my stories and I do post it. So that's just a little piece of uh, information if you guys are more interested in seeing some of my daily stuff. Um, I try, I'm, I've been trying to also like vlog a little bit more on my stories, kind of making it like a, a YouTube vlog, but on Instagram on my story. So it's actually happening in real time. Since YouTube is always like delayed, um, you just have to edit it and upload it. But anyway, I finished off the workout with three sets on leg extensions, three sets of leg curls, 15 reps each on that. Also did a drop set. Theme of this video is I did not film my drop sets. Um, but anyway, that is the whole video. So if you guys liked the video, if you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Uh, like I said, follow me on Instagram. I think I provide more value on there. And at least I, I definitely provide more frequent value on there. Let's just say that. So f make sure you follow me there as well. Tell all your friends. Um, thanks again for watching the video, guys. Um, and I will see you in the next one.